The next step in the workflow is to split up the designs into the individual floors. Once we have our designs separated out, we can start to create our civil 3D surfaces. Using the Create Surfaces tools, we name our new surface. This new surface is now available to explore in the Prospector tab. So let's now add the drawing features that will make up this surface. Note here that the Revit features all come across as polyface mesh objects. First up, we can add the main floor. So I'll next add the ramp, but you will notice some errors in the surface. Civil 3D needs to have a vertical face defined around the ramp edge first. To do this, we will need to add some brake lines to the surface to define this new feature. So here we are adding these lines. And now when our ramp is added, we get the correct definitions. So here is our finished surface with both ramps added. We are now ready to add our sweat paths to the project.